Hey, what's up beautiful people? Today we're going to look at how you can use Set to drive MASH directly in Maya. And so, just in case you don't know, Maya actually has a motion graphic tool which is known as MASH. And today we're going to take a very close look at how you can do that. It's going to be really quick and really short and really simple and all that stuff. Okay, so I have this model which is King Kong, alright? So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and find the body of this character and get it out of here. All right, so a very quick way to get this out, especially if you want to do something like that, is by pressing Shift and P, and that's a good way to unparent. Now I've just gone ahead to unparent this tool, and I think this tool is locked, because if you see, if I select it here, you see this thing here. What I need to do is go over to the channel, and then turn this from whatever reference it is to not being referenced. The tiny R here means it's referenced, all right? So I have this selected now, and you can also notice that I have this, all right? Now, another thing I need to do is to come through, select all of this, right click, come here and simply unlock selected. Now, why I'm showing you guys this is just in case you have a model, maybe for any reason and it's, you know, acting up. This is a cool way to work with it. All right. So with this now, what I need to do is I have to right click, come over to faces, select one side, you know, switch to Q, double click and have a selection. Now, the next thing which I also need to do is to go over here where I have select and then I need to grow my selection. I'll tap G one more time just to make sure that it's growing properly. All right. And I have a simple set here. Okay. So with this set, what I want to do is I want to actually drive some sort of motion graphic uh, elements directly on just this particular section. So what I can do for this is really, really simple. I need to first of all, come over to this section called create and I need to create a set. You can choose to name this set, whatever you want. But we're just going to go ahead and just name it King Kong Arm 01. All right. And I'm going to simply click on apply and close. And now if you have this done, what this is going to do, what the set is going to do is whenever you have this selection and you right click and you see select set members, this section gets selected. So let's say we want to use a sphere to simply drive this particular section of our model. So what I need to do is we'll come over to the shelf here and just simply create the sphere or you can hold down shift, right click, and then you can get this. All right. So with this, you can go ahead and create whatever thing that you want. So we have this sphere here and I'm going to just simply select it and use the middle mouse button to bring it down. The next thing which we would want to do is simply push this forward, go over to Marsh. So if you don't have Marsh, you can press your space bar and you can actually navigate with the space bar or with the hotbox towards where you have Marsh. And what we want to do now is with this selected, we'll need to create a Marsh network or a Marsh waiter. So we can click here and it's going to go ahead and distribute about 10. I guess it's about 10. So let's just go over to the attribute editor to take a look to take a look and I have about 10 of these and it's distributing towards this axis. And you can see this right here. All right. So it's distributing towards the X axis, but we want this not to distribute towards any given part. Okay. We want it to distribute on this mesh. So we need to come through and select the distribution type and set it to mesh. All right. So setting it to mesh is now asking us to actually impute the mesh, which we want. So I'm going to go here, use the middle mouse button, click, drag and drop directly here. And you can see this is being scattered around our model. So you can go ahead and increase the number of points and you can see this is being scattered around the model. And you can also tell that why this is happening is because the method of distribution is set to scatter. So we need to also you know, reduce this because it is a little bit too much. All of these individual meshes that you see that is being replicated is known as mesh repo mesh, but the original mesh, which we're using is still here saved as P sphere one. And for whatever reason, once you just simply apply mesh to any object, mesh goes on to automatically make that object hidden. And that's why you can see this uh, object here in gray. So we're going to press H on the keyboard so that we can get this out. And I'm just going to go ahead and scale this a little bit more and you can see how responsive this is. I'm pressing H one more time to simply hide that, click back to mash and let's see what we have. So if I go ahead and start increasing this, you can see the distribution is still set to scatter and this is being distributed around our object. So next thing which we want to do is we don't want this to be distributed around the object. We actually want it to be distributed around the component set. All right. So if you come here and you select this and say 
distribute type or the distribution type should be component selection set what is going to happen is it would demand for the components that you want or it's going to demand for the set that you want so what we can do is we can just simply come over here where we have this king con arm one remember what we created this earlier i'm going to simply use the middle mouse button click drag and drop directly here and once that is done you can start seeing that we have this around that particular set which we created earlier so i can go ahead and just simply increase this and get this to you know travel all through or you know you can enter a certain number let's say a number like 150 i guess so let's see what 150 let's make it 200 all right so i think i think actually 250 would be good let's see what we can all right so we have this there and this is some very cool way that you can you know drive your mash based off a given set selection and if you're wondering what else can you do with this there's just a whole lot of things you want to do with this tool believe me so in case you want to go ahead or let's say in case you want to come through and add things like influencers or maybe you want to add some signal node or you want to add some time node or something like that some dynamics of course because you have this selected or set to just this particular section you can go through and do that and if you want to add multiple stuff let's say you want to attach not just the sphere here but you want to attach several other stuff then you need to make use of the id node if you want me to cover that you should put that in the comment section and i'm going to do that real quick and let's try and see what we can do with the influence so if we click here and simply add an influence node you can see that we have something happening already so the influence node is more like what you have as your effectors so they have things called effectors in cinema 4d and this is one of those things that exist like that so the effectors or the influence node actually influences the scale the rotation and also the position of your mash or your motion graphic object at any point in time so if i simply select this influence object here that it is set you can see that if i start traveling all the way up we are having some sort of scale thingy happening around here so you can use this to drive how you want your object to react at any given time so if you want to breathe life to your motion graphic object probably you can think about using this i think this might just actually make it worth your while so if you want to try some other things with mash or let's say you have issues with these things please tell me about them in the comment section and i'll try my best and get back to you guys about it and if you like this video or you learned something from it go ahead and hit the like button and also turn on notification and if you're new here it's gonna be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and turn on notification so you don't miss the next video and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace